Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for uh, Leo. This is going to be for your July 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see if it's a good idea for you guys to reach out to a person that you are no contact with. So if this is a no contact reading, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on what will happen if there's any sort of contact between you and your, you and your person. So apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Um, uh, you may switch roles if you want. Uh, it could be the other way around where this person that you're in no contact with is wondering this about you. Keep in mind that these are uh, collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about Leo. Is it a good idea for Leo to reach out to a person that they are in no contact with? Like I said, it could be the other way around. It could be the person that you're in no contact with that's wondering about you. Okay, let's see here. So we have the Seven of Pentacles here and the Seven of Swords. I would say no, you're wasting your time with this person here because this person's a liar, liar, pants on fire here. Okay, this person's deceptive. This person's a thief. Uh, this person lies. I don't feel like you will get anywhere having a conversation with this person here because this person just lies effortlessly here with the Strength card, Leo energy, okay? I do feel like this person has like impulsivity problems here. This person just has really poor self-control with the Empress here, Libra, Taurus energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I just feel like you're just too good for this individual here, Leo. That's what I'm feeling here. Yeah, I just feel like this person's not on the same consciousness wavelength as you in vibration as you here. I just feel like you're at a whole different level, level than this person here. Any sort of conversation that you have with this person, like I said, this person's going to waste your time. This person's going to lie. This person's keeping secrets from you. Okay, tell me about the moon card. Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? The moon with the Hermit Virgo energy. Yeah, I just feel like you'd rather just be on your own here and stay silent and not say anything. This person plays a lot of mind games here, okay? I do feel like this person's trying to win you back, but at the same time, in this situation here, Leo, I feel like you're putting yourself first. I feel like you're trying to move away from the situation. If anything, I do feel like this person's hoping that when they contact you, you will be weak to your knees and you will just take them back just easily because I feel like this person can be very convincing, okay? This person can be very persuasive here, okay? This person can say something where you're gonna be, uh, you're, you're, where you're gonna be convinced that, okay, it's the right thing to do, but I feel like this time around, it's not gonna work. Yeah, I feel like their tricks are not gonna work here, okay? So their old tricks are not gonna work, all right? So I feel like you can't teach this old dog new tricks here in a way. So what else do we have here for Leo? What else does Leo need to know? What will happen if there's any sort of communication between Leo and the person that they are in no contact with? For the um, month of July, 2024, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Leo, for Leo, for Leo. So Leo, we have the Queen of Swords, Leo, Aquarius, Gemini here. We have the Seven of Wands. Any sort of communication that comes to you from this person here, I just feel like you're just blocking this person. You've had enough. You're drawing the line in the sand with this individual here. So I feel like enough is enough. I feel like you're just moving on here. And I feel like you're just kind of like ghosting this individual here. You've learned your lesson. You're disengaging here. And I just feel like you just don't want to be stuck anymore. I just feel like you just want to get the karmic wheel turning in your favor again here. Okay, so the Four Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. What else do we have? We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and also the Eight of Cups here. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to avoid another another Tower moment here, Leo. And I feel like this is the right thing that you're doing here because I do feel like you just know and that you expect that this person will do the same thing over and over and over and over again. Okay, this person has not really taken some time out to introspect and self-reflect here, look at themselves and ask themselves what they did wrong here and how they could improve themselves here. Some of the Seven of Wands here, the Seven of Wands, 
and the Four of Pentacles. This person doesn't really have a lot to offer, a lot to give. I mean, you're completely pulling your energies back here because I feel like you guys are more focused on your happiness at this time here, okay? Focus on reconnecting with yourself. Focus on finding yourself again if you feel like you lost yourself in this situation here. You know, I feel like if this person has taken things here from you, you just rather let these things go and, and, and just take your time in replacing it than to actually chase this person down for these things that this person has taken from you here. The Sun card, Leo energy, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Wheel of Fortune here, and the world. Yeah, it seems like you guys are definitely ending some sort of karmic cycle here. The Tower here in the Fool card, Aries energy, Aquarius energy, and the Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups here. It seems like you're finally letting go of the past. You're closing out this chapter and you're moving towards a new chapter in your life here. You're just ready for new experiences. You're just ready for new things to come in. You're ready to meet new love. This is someone that you don't want to be around anymore because you felt like this person has hindered your growth and your evolution and even your creativity to, and even in your creativity here too, Leo. What else do we have here for Leo? What else does Leo need to know? Look out for work on. What will happen if there's any sort of communication between Leo and the person that they are in no contact with? For July. So with the Six of Pentacles here, with the Three of Cups, someone here is definitely trying to tempt you back for reconciliation. Someone here is definitely trying to reconnect with you here, trying to uh, uh, reignite this connection here. I do feel like the person that you're dealing with here does have a karmic bond or does some, have some sort of strong soul contract here with you, but I feel like you're rewriting that soul contract and you're breaking the soul contract with this individual so that you don't come across this individual again in a future lifetime here. Yeah, their old tricks are definitely not working here because I feel like you've heard this all before. You've been through this before with this person. And like I said, this person has not really changed yet. Yeah, this person's really back and forth, very in and out. Yeah, and I also feel like this person has a lot of burdens that this person uh, has a tendency to dump all over you here with the a Ten of Wands here, with the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, they're definitely trying to reignite this connection here. I do feel like this person does care about you. I do feel like this person does love you. I feel like this person does think about you a lot ever since you have been in no contact. Uh, after uh, after you guys have separated, this person's yearning for you. They're waiting for you to come back or that they're waiting for you to respond to them if this person has reached out to you here, okay? But yeah, I just feel like you've really grown in this situation. And like I said, I feel like you're not gonna let this person trick you again here, okay? So I feel like you're a lot wiser than you were before uh, when it comes to this person. So Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.